Now, I agree on your selection to some degree, but I don't agree with the standard that you made. I think was your name Schlag Daddy or something. I have a very short attention span. And I don't remember names that well. Now, part of your standard for what would be a great wrestler is being either the big guy or being the well-built muscular guy. I think that part of the reason why that became popular was because in the 70s, Andre the Giant and Superstar Billy Graham were very, very popular. And they were sort of replacing the boxing-esque unsportsmanship personas that were carried on by Buddy Rogers, Lutez, and maybe even Ric Flair. But though Ric Flair somehow still remains. Now, part of what I think needs to replace these guys, because wrestling is sort of being an afterthought, and most people are MMA guys now, is that we need to take these main event guys and have them correspond with what an MMA guy would need as to be a main event person and what someone who's maybe on the second tier and mid card tier what would they need now an MMA guy would usually have to be somebody like Caden Velasquez or Dos Santos these guys that they might not be these big well built together guys but they look badass they look like they can kick your ass they look like they can stay long in a fight, and you'll definitely be knocked the fuck out. And somebody that looks like that to me would probably be Drew McIntyre. He looks like if you get into a fight with him for a long time, you're gonna get knocked out. Who else looks tough like that? I'd say The Rock, but The Rock doesn't... Let's forget about The Rock. If The Rock were to take on an MMA gimmick, I know that he said that if... He that would have been the successful business he would have chosen that instead of wrestling. And I believe him. I think he would have been even bigger as an MMA guy. I think another good alternative would be for a mid-card guy. Kind of like in the summer where everyone was excited for that pay-per-view of Silva versus Okami. We'd have these... Made Carter guys who, they're tough. They may not be badass, but they possess the skills. I'm not talking to you. But they possess the skills to compete in a nice MMA fight. For wrestling, we need a guy like this. The Silva or Akami, these talented guys who may not be the badass, big guy will fuck you up. But they know how to fight. Someone who reminds me of this would probably be a Kofi Kingston, Tyson Kidd, Yoshitatsu, or someone of this nature. Uh. And I think the kind of guy who, the biggest interest to me would be a tag team division, since in the MMA and UFC, there is no tag team division. So what would he do for a tag team division? For tag team division, we need kind of guys who would accompany either none of these characteristics, but they're still entertaining or people who are in the middle. So I'd say Zack Ryder or who else besides Zack Ryder? John Morrison. So they possess these characteristics, but okay. That's all in all what I think would be the right standard we would have for a heavyweight division have one guy or in mid card division have one guy who would have none of these characteristics so that he stands out the most so we could have CM Punk in the main 
event of these matches, winning the titles, getting the main event storylines, because he stands out the most. He doesn't look like the main event for an MMA guy, kind of guy or UFC kind of guy. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who will fuck you up, despite the fact that he's not 30 feet tall because he looks tough. CM Punk is tough, but he doesn't look it. That's what I think is the right look we need to go for for a main event guy in conclusion. We need a guy who's not exactly 20 feet tall or and 500 pounds or a guy who's freaking on roids. We need a guy who looks like he's tough. For a main event, some guy who looks like he'll knock you out, some guy who looks like he'll be in a bar, beating the shit out of you. And for the mid carders, we need the guys who look like they know what the fuck they're doing. They look like they have the skills to really kick some ass. The skilled guys, the technical guys. And that's what I want to see. And then we have guys like in main event, like Steam Punk, who don't have. These characteristics, but they stand out. Or for mid Carter, we have a Zack Ryder, especially since he gets a lot of crowd pops. And that's what we need. You could agree with this or disagree with this. I'm kind of a noob, but that's what I see. I see that we need to focus on a new culture, and a new culture puts an emphasis on these kinds of guys because everyone's into the MMA right now. I see my friends, and they don't talk about wrestling, they talk about the MMA. Why? Because it's like the new growing culture. And it's not a fad anymore as much as it's going to be part of a new collage of generations that are going to be into that until the next martial art kicks in. And that's what you got to do, you got to think ahead.